Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about wrestling games I haven't talked about in other videos of mine. New Japan Pro Wrestling Fighting Spirit Ratsudan Advance is mostly decent, but when you compare it for example to Fire Pro Wrestling, it's weak. But the good part of the game is that you get around 40 wrestlers and you can also create your own. And this installment was the first time in the history of the franchise to get a story mode, which is nice. The story mode is mostly text, but hey, you get a story mode. But on the bad side, the controls are intuitive for the most part, but they also get clunky. And the number of moves you can perform is low. And the animations look off sometimes. And at match types, you could say that you get only normal matches. You don't get tag matches, nor cage matches, or matches in UFC rings like in Fire Pro, so yeah, you could say that you get only normal matches. Ultimate Muscle, the path of the superhero, is a good wrestling game. You get 24 characters and 4 game modes, you get a story mode, 1 on 1 versus, 3 on 3 and survival. There are no tag matches and no create a wrestler mode, which is sad, but at least the controls are easy to pick up and you get the hang of them pretty fast. The timing is color coded, the move you perform is determined by the color on the screen when you press the button, also in this game you don't win matches by pinning your opponent, instead you have to KO your adversaries by performing signature moves when their stamina is low. And you can speed up the process of performing signature moves by activating friendship powers. I'm not making it up. That's the name in the game. Friendship powers. Overall the game is good for a tie-in game. It certainly isn't as good as its GameCube cousin, but it's still solid nonetheless. Compared to the other games, it's weak. But as a standalone game, if we were to never know about the existence of the other games, it will be decent.